Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at some graphical improvements in Super Mario Odyssey using Yuzu Canary 1051. So first of all, I'm just going to check my settings. So I want to disable docked mode make sure I'm using CPU JIT. And I also want to make sure that I'm not using the accurate frame buffer setting. Okay, so now that I have all of my settings configured, let's actually boot the game and see what render quality is like in our title menu. And there we go, you can already see that they have improved at least some of the textures in Super Mario Odyssey on this Nintendo Switch emulator. So as you can see, there has been a fairly significant improvement at least in the texture quality of the Mario model and when we compare it to the previous Canary build, the last one I used which is 1045, you can see the improvement is actually quite significant. So while yes, graphical fidelity has indeed improved, at least in these title menus, the more important thing is, how does it look when we are actually in gameplay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to load my Cloud Kingdom save and we're going to test and see what the game looks like and how it's performing on this latest canary with these graphical changes. And there we go, we are now loaded into gameplay and as you can clearly see the graphics have changed quite a bit since I covered it in yesterday's video and on Canary 1045. So performance also seems to have lowered but to be honest this kind of thing is to be expected when they are adding new shaders, new shader instructions and new texture formats daily. So as this emulator's development continues both now and into the future it's going to be a fair unrealistic task to not expect any graphical or performance regressions in all of our games. As I already said, they are already adding new features, functions, texture formats, textures, shaders, shader instructions, you name it, all of these are being added on a daily basis, so I have absolutely no doubt that while yes, things look worse in today's build than they did in yesterday's, it will definitely improve in future. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys in this little short video. I just wanted to make sure that you guys are as up to date as possible in the development of all of your most highly requested games on this emulator. So once again, cheers for checking out this video. Remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.